good morning. Uh, my name is Blaze. Uh, people you, uh, normally call me Elvis. And I have a very long surname. My surname is Mukoko. The reason why I'm doing this video is for those that have problems or difficulties of getting a U.S. Uh, B1, B2 visa. Uh, the reason why I can only talk about B1, B2 visa because I once have been granted a visa B1, B2. So that is the best as I can do. Now, it's the first time that I'm recording a video. Uh, what do you need first uh, for the U.S. Uh, consulate officer to grant you a visa? There is a lot of things that goes uh, in place in order for you to have a visa. Uh, the visa officer only need a proof that you are coming back to South Africa or, or are coming back in the country where you applied for that B1, B2 visa. So if you do not have enough evidence guarantee i'm giving you a guarantee that they won't give you a visa so you should prove to them that you're coming back now you obviously know why do you have to prove them that you're coming back because they don't want you to go and stay there because most of people have jeopardized have messed up when they go in the country they don't come back so that's the main reason. If you have enough evidence that will sh you can prove to the officer, the U.S. officer visa, that you're coming back in terms of your agreement in B1 and B2, they will come to a visa. Not that I'm saying that it was easy for me to get a U.S. visa. Uh, once, the first time I have been, uh, they, I have been denied a B1, B2 visa in an interval of one month. So I first went in, I think it was a March, if I'm not mistaken, and I wasn't ready, I wasn't prepared because it's my first time that I'm going to a US and uh, first time to go to a US consulate and I was nervous. <laughs> Even though I read instructions on how uh, to behave on a, what to bring in, trust me, ask me what did I, need, I did not bring. I forget to print out my bank statement. <laughs> my bank statement. No, every, I had everything, all the evidence. I have, I'm a family of, I'm a father of, of, of three children. And I've been in this country, I'm not a citizen. I've been in this country almost more than 14 or 15 years. So I don't owe a house, I rent, but it's your house. As long as you rent, the house is on your name. You have a permanent job. They don't need to see what you have in your bank account. Money is not an issue. You might have a million in your bank account, they're still going to deny you a visa. I didn't have enough fun in my account when I went to apply for visa. I had, but not enough. So they don't want to see how much you have in your bank account. They just want to see how you use. Are you a person that they can trust? How you do your transactions? Are your credit are stable? You don't owe anybody. You're not blacklisted. Those are type of people they will grant you a visa. Let me share you my first experience. Uh, since I was a child, um, I, I had a dream. And I told myself, the first country that I'm going to visit must be U.S. The second country must be England. The third country must be Rome. And the last one must be French. No, France, well, French in, 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 in English. 
Now, unfortunately, when I got my first uh, passport back home, I was very young, didn't have enough uh, enough proof, and I decided I'm not going to apply in any of those countries. So I'm going to apply first in Africa. And the country that came in mind was South Africa. Now I'm from Congo, Brazzaville. So I came in South Africa in 2005. And since then, I uh, went home uh, for a couple of times. And then I said, okay, now I have everything that they want. So my first holiday, I wanted to take the whole family. But because I don't know the culture, American cultures, uh, I don't know the place well, taking the family, it's risky. And had, with five members, you can imagine. So I said, spoke to my wife. My wife said, okay, uh, because the company where she worked didn't want her to leave because it was a busy month. And I said, can I take maybe one of the children? She also refused because they don't know uh, uh, the country well. Taking the child might not be a good idea. So go first and see if it's a nice place to visit. We will do so. In 2017, I decided, okay, let me apply for my visa. So I went online. I was no, not on, yeah, online. Apply my for my uh, DS uh, 160 forms application online. I got it. It was quite an improvement because it's a long process to do. After you have that forms. You have to uh, go for the second step, which we will be payment. Now you have to go and pay first. You come back. No, no, no. You have to create first an account. Once you have an account, you go and pay. After you pay, after after you pay, it normally takes about forty-eight hours for the money to reflect on the. Uh, U.S. Uh, visa account, and once they, it has been reflected, automatically it will generate an email to say, okay, go and proceed for your application. Uh, on the email, they will give you a link. A link is where that you can go and access the other information that you need to do. So it will take you uh, uh, where you need to collect your visa, so you will choose. They will give you a couple of choices. All depend. For me, I, I normally choose the area that is close to me so that I don't be late when I need to go and collect my visa. They don't send it to your house. You have to choose uh, some of the DH, DH uh, courier service companies uh, that is close to your house or your place where you stay so that you can go and collect it. And the last part will be uh, making an appointment, a reservation. You must go also online and you choose your date that is suitable to your, your, your schedule. And after you have done it, you, you go, you will, you will get a, uh, uh, email saying that you successfully have scheduled an interview. Uh, they will give you a letter, uh, let me just find out what type of letter that you will get. I don't want to show you my stuff, but you will get like a confirmation that's showing, showing that yes, successfully, uh, it says successfully payment receive, and then you have an appointment, as you see at the bottom there. Don't know if you can read it. And, and you prepare. So this is now a very important stage. What do you need to do in order for them to give you a visa? The grooming is very, very important. Even me, if I want to employ somebody, like I'm looking right now because this is a lockdown. <laughs> you, you know we're still on lockdown. So the way I'm looking currently right now, if I go like this, they won't give me a visa. They won't. Because your appearance is very, very, very important. 
Now, the reason why I'm not shaving because I have a skin problem. Uh, they must be, uh, sh they, I have to be shaved at the salon. So don't worry about this appearance, but you have to be clean. Now, for men, it's formal, formal, huh? formal grooming. You have to dress formal. If you're a banker, dress like a banker. If you're a teacher, dress like a teacher. If you're a student, dress like a student. If you're a lady, dress like a lady. But it must be formal. Uh, uh, your personality must attract them. Just by them looking at you, they will know this person is very serious. The first time I went, <laughs> uh, I didn't have any clue what to wear. I had my big winter jacket, a red color, a white shirt, no tie. Yeah, I was formal. It was okay. But when I went in and I looked at other people around me, I said, oh, I think I have a feeling I'm not going to get it. That is because you were not, you're nervous. You, you don't know what to say. You don't know if you're looking good or you... No, it was my turn. I went there. They asked me, no, 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 not. So if you have not passed the five first questions, you won't get it. If they stop at the third question, you only have been asked three questions. They're keeping on that three questions. You haven't moved to the fourth one. You won't get it. Your first question will be, why are you going to U.S.? No. If you know the reason, don't lie. Tell them the truth. I'm going to U.S. to go and visit. A tourist? Do you know of anyone? If you don't know, you say, I don't know anybody there. Because who had to have anybody in each and every country? No, don't lie. Because they have all your information on the system. Now, because I know somebody, now that is very important. If you don't know anybody, you have to prove that you have sub substantial enough fine to live in U.S. Especially, <laughs> hotels are very expensive. Now, if you don't know anybody, you must have a lot of money. But for me, I knew uh, my cousin. So accommodation, way to sleep, it was quite good. I didn't have to stress. So I asked them, I know, I know somebody. I'm going to visit him because it's been very long. My cousin went to U.S. He's a U.S. citizen. He went to U.S. <laughs> for a long time. So I don't even, uh, probably uh, for the first time, I don't even know how it looks before I went there. That's very, so you be honest, tell them the truth. Now, they will ask you uh, the second question, why U.S.? You have to tell them the truth. It's a dream of everybody. Even on the film, they say that it's, uh, it's it's a nice country. <laughs> Trust me, it's a very nice country to visit. But choose the season. Don't go in New York, especially in winter. You won't enjoy it. Uh, now, the, the third question was, do I have a permanent job? I say yes, but my employer did not give me a correct letter. So it shows that I've been working uh, around. So. Uh, there I could feel I, I won't get it. The third question was, provide your bank statement. Just to justify that you have a permanent job. <laughs> Trust me, they could have given me a visa. And I say, I don't have a bank statement. Like they will know that <laughs> you don't have that paper. I said to them, I have a pay slip. He said, no, she said, I want a bank statement. Now, there is no ATM there uh, at the, the consulate. The ATM is quite a kilometer from that small mall. I nicely asked the lady, may you please allow me to go out and just print the bank statement from the ATM? She refused. She has right. 
Because when you apply your DA, D, DA, eh? DA 160, the requirements say bring all the necessary documents. Now, one of the necessary documents to prove that you're coming back or you have enough funds, you have to have a bank statement, which I did not have. And that is a very important part. I know you paid money. $160 is a lot. In uh, rent, it will be $260,000. It's a lot if you don't have your visa. But that is the most important part when, this, when the officer say that you don't, you don't qualify to have a visa. Don't show them that you cross. Don't argue with the officer. Because those officers have been trained. That is their job. They do for many years. They know. Sometimes they might misjudge a person. That, that is human. We're all imperfect. You probably watching this video, you also have misjudged somebody. That's a fact. We're human. But I'm guarantee, I guarantee you that those officers know what they're doing. When they deny you a visa, keep calm. I know you have lost uh, confidence in you, uh, the, the effort that you put in, uh, you prepare so well for how long, and then coming that moment. It only takes 10 minutes for the interview. But you have prepared that interview for maybe more than a year, three years, or six years, or six months, depending on your planning. I like planning ahead. But don't show that you cross. Keep your calm. Now, I didn't know what to react. Either I have to be cross or not, but I learned from my personal experience. I told that officer, can I apply again? She said to me, yes. But you have to wait six months. I say, but if I want to apply today again, can it be possible? So yes, you can apply today, but uh, I can advise you to wait six months. I say, I don't have that six months. I'm going back. I'm going to go and redo again another application. The same day, came back. You see, the positive attitude. They want to see people like this. American, are American people are positive. They don't want negativity. So I came back. I applied the same day. My DH, I made an appointment. I got a close an appointment. I went back. Now, this time around, <laughs> I had a foul like this. <laughs> I brought everything with me. I even follow the dressing code, what you have to wear. For men, you must wear navy blue. I had a suit navy blue, a nice tie, clean, even if though I had to walk. Because it reflects who I am and my profession. I say to you, if you're a teacher, dress like a teacher. If you're a student, dress like a student. If you're a banker, dress like a banker. If you're whatever, dress whoever you are in your field. Went for the second interview. Now, in me, I saw the same lady that interviewed me. You see, I'm a very positive man. I don't let negativity affect me. So I was telling myself, if it's so be that I have to be interviewed from the same person, let be. Let so be. But unfortunately, no, I will say unfortunately, or fortunately, unfortunately, I wasn't interviewed by the same visa officer. Fortunately, fortunately, I was, no, unfortunately, I will say, I was interviewed by the same, no, different visa office. And fortunately, I was not served or interviewed by the previous one. But she was there. For me, it was, a, now I have a chance to come and prove you. 
But God has another plan. So you seek with God plan. For those that pray, pray. You do a silent prayer just to calm your emotion because you need to know what to say. And don't, don't talk too much also. Go straight to the point. They ask you a question, answer straight to the question. Don't deviate. Don't give, they don't want to hear your story. Just tell them what you want to do. And then go straight to the point. I went there. The other guy asked me, why do you want to go to U.S.? Tell them I'm going to U.S. to visit. Do you know of anybody? Yes, I know of anybody. Uh, who is that? This is my cousin. Uh, um, but I can see on the system that you have been denied the visa. Yes, I have been denied the visa maybe because I didn't bring enough evidence. Um, are you coming back? I said, obvious. I have my family here. I have our own two cars. They can see you. They, they have everything on the system. They can see what you do. You can't lie to them. So I tell them, I told them exactly what they wanted to hear, my story. And we move from question one, question two, question three. In my, my experience, I know once I pass question three, I will get it. And we went question four, question five, uh, who was financing your trip? I say I'm financing my trip myself, I'm paying. Uh, they didn't ask me anything. I brought a file sticker like this. Everything that you can imagine. They did not ask a single document. The only thing that they said to me, go to the next window, pay for the delivery fee for your visa collection. That's all. Even before I went there, the uh, officer that takes your, pr your fingerprint <laughs> asked me, what is this? I say, the last time I was here, they say you must bring everything. So I brought everything. And he was laughing. I said, no, why are you laughing? Because I've been denied a visa because of one document. Today I brought every my insurance, my life cover, my, 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 my in retirement into it. <laughs> A house document, the car policies, everything, medical aid. They did not ask me a single document. Now, one, they send you to the other window, know that you have it. So don't think because, now I have to say it, because you, it's, it's a difficult topic for me to say on, online. Uh, don't think because of, I don't want to go there because I might sound very bad to others. Don't think because of the color of your skin, uh, who you are, will be, you will be automatically grant, uh, be granted the visa. No. It doesn't work that way. Don't think because you're rich, you will automatically be granted the visa. Even rich people sometimes have been denied the visa. So be yourself. Uh, Keep calm and be respectful. You must respect them because that is their job. And if you do that, you will have a visa. Now, if you need help, I'm going to upload this video. It's the first video that I'm going to do. Maybe I will create a, a, a page on YouTube. You can view them. And if you have any questions, please ask me. Uh, I don't want to show you that I had a visa. That's not the who I am. A visa is a, a personal document. I don't need to share it with anybody, but I'm telling you, uh, I once have been granted a U.S. visa. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. Maybe I will do the next video when I'm going to apply again for the next visa. But uh, thanks. Keep, uh, keep, uh, keep safe. Stay home. And especially wear your mask, wear your mask to save lives. Bye-bye. Ciao. I'm going to see you on my next videos. Thanks. Bye-bye.